Hey. I was wondering if there's a few people around I could talk to. Um, yeah, there's somebody inside. Is there? Inside? All right. Okay. I'm well, doing well. How you doing, ma'am? It's a nice day for it, huh? I know. I didn't even, I didn't know if any would be here, and there's all kinds of cars here right now, I guess. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have a um, Chinese group. They meet later on, because they have to stay right along with a lot of those Chinese people have restaurants. So they meet in the afternoon. Oh, you guys have like a meeting or something today? No, we just gonna meet for like ten minutes. Oh, uh, uh, uh. And um, to go back out, but it's the brothers, right? We only we talked about one, but the brothers can How are you doing, ma'am? I'm doing well, thank you. Well, I'd love to put forward a question to all of you then. If that's all right. You guys got time for me to ask about something? Okay. You guys all have time for me to ask something real quick? I'll tell you what. Let's, let's go off here. Out there? Oh, sorry. I'm not trying to interrupt. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not trying to be a jerk. <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. You said that now. I wasn't. Yeah. I get it now. I get it. And then for safety reasons, too. Oh, and you have nothing to fear for me, ma'am. I'm retired military. I I served. To, I I live to protect people. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. My my entire purpose in life is to protect others so oh, you yeah. have nothing to fear from me ma'am and of course a, a crazy person would probably say that right though so I know you don't know me so how would you know right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean now you have to use clown judgment oh yes ma'am by all means because there are child abusers everywhere uh, there's crazy people and everywhere and they're the, always hidden yeah you think about the man that walked into the church in South Carolina and you know, oh my gosh yes that broke my heart Broke my heart. Hi, how you doing? Good. You all right? Yeah, I'm going to. How you doing, sir? I'm doing well. How y'all doing today? Hey, hey how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great, especially nice, nice day. Nice warm day, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, good. sir. Um, I was driving in the area, I saw this, I pulled in. Um, my mother and sister are Jehovah's Witnesses, mm -hmm. and my mother tried to raise me as one, mm -hmm. um, but it, it, it didn't really take. Mm. And what I wanted to do is ask someone Especially, I'm glad you're here, because I'd rather ask someone in some sort of authority, right? Uh, if you knew about, uh, like, I want to talk to you about your child protection policies. Because one of the reasons I left was that I was raped and beaten for 10 years by my ministerial servant stepfather. And in the hall I grew up in, I knew of 10 other kids that were being raped also. And I've since, you know, I've spent, I'm retired from the Army now. And I've learned how to, you know, figure out if something's true, which is easy to do. You don't have to be from the military to do that, right? And what I've come across is that there's a lot of pedophiles that are kind of being hidden by the Jehovah's Witness uh, hierarchy, or I don't know what the proper word for it is, but 
I've found court cases all over the world exposing thousands upon thousands of pedophiles that, that don't get reported to the police. And it's deeply concerning to me because if someone had, had been willing to protect me, I might not have gotten raped for 10 years. You know what I mean? Do you know, do you know anything about some of these things? I don't. Personally, I've never experienced any, any of that. I don't know. Well, what happened when I told my elders, I told my elders that I was being raped at 13 years old, and it had been happening since I was five. When I told them, they brought my stepfather in there, so I had to then talk to them in front of him. And then they tried to accuse me of partaking in a homosexual act. And my mother left him for a few months. She got a letter from headquarters and to the body of elders where we were at. And they told her she had no grounds for divorce and that she needed to stay with him. So she went back to him and then I got to go stay with my rapist for another two years. Yeah. Does that sound like God's justice? No, it doesn't. There's no, if someone, I got a son or a daughter. Someone touch my kids. They'd be lucky to, they'd be lucky to make it to the police. You know what I mean? Like it ain't, I would not abide such a thing, you know? And the problem I've come across, I looked into it, I started doing research. There's been multiple court cases in this country where y'all have been losing millions upon millions of dollars of your donations have gone to child abuse victims like myself when headquarters said not to report it to the police in Montana in November. You guys lost a $35 million lawsuit because the local elders were directed to not report it. Um, where did you get that information from? The court, the court documents themselves. I actually went, you could, it's public domain knowledge. Any court cases like that, it's public knowledge. So you can actually go to the courthouse or call them or, or email them and you can get the actual court transcripts and the, the subpoena documents. Well, as far as I know, that's not the policy. Well, and the, 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 uh, the other thing that they did subpoena was the elders manual. They also did that in Australia. In Australia, Royal Commission, they studied all major religions. They studied daycares. They went to the Boy Scouts to, to check all these organizations for child protection. And the case study that I looked at was case study number 29 of all the Jehovah's Witnesses. And there, with, with documents subpoenaed from the branch office, wherever that is in Australia, they discovered 1,006 pedophiles within Jehovah's Witnesses congregations that were never reported to the police, even during mandatory reporting. Now they did find two or three hundred that were reported, but 1,006 pedophiles that were actively hidden from the authorities in Australia, just in Australia, 1,006. And I actually went through the, the court documents themselves, and then I watched the, the government proceedings of it. It's like a congressional committee here. You know, you can go on C-SPAN and watch a congressional committee? Mm -hmm. In Australia, that's what I did. I went on there and, and watched it from the actual like, so there was no commentary. I just watched the actual court proceedings. There was like five or six days of proceedings that I watched. And even Jeffrey Jackson, the governing body member, got subpoenaed, the, got summoned, and he testified. And he did admit that, yes, child abuse is a big problem in Jehovah's Witnesses. Well, well, I can tell you this. We don't condone that. We don't condone it. And we don't hide it. Well, here's the problem. The elder's manual on page 72 states that if the accuser, if someone accuses, like say I'd gone to my stepfather and say, hey, this guy's raping me. And if he doesn't admit it, then you're to leave it in Jehovah's hands. You're not to report it. If, if, if the rapist doesn't admit to it, if the pedophile doesn't admit to it, it says to leave it in, in Jehovah's hands. And that is hiding a pedophile. You're not qualified as, as a body here to, to be able to tell if someone's been raped. You go to the police is where you should go because they have rape kits. They can do an investigation, right? So the elder's manual on page 72 states to not report a pedophile if he doesn't admit to it, unless you have two witnesses. Now, if you have two witnesses, then you can. But the problem is in Deuteronomy 20, verse like 22, it states that if a maiden's in a field and cries out and no one is there to help her, to put the rapist to death. Now, that's Old Testament. I'm not saying kill them. But even in the Bible, it is, it is stated that you don't need two witnesses for rape. 
and under the Mosaic law, they still put rapists to death with one witness. I can tell you this. Yes, sir. As far as I know. From my experience, I've never known anybody to hide it. I've never known anybody to, I've never known. Did they ever report it to the police, though? I've never known it to be condoned. Okay, I don't think it's and, condoned, no. I don't and I've never that. known anybody that, that experienced it, personally. Well, you got also a Stephanie Feschler case in Pennsylvania a couple years back where, they, again, they hid, the, they hid the pedophile and moved him around. And she also won millions of dollars. She had a multi-million dollar lawsuit for Candace Conti in California. This, if you just look, there's court cases all over the place. Well, and you well, don't have to go to the news media. Go to the actual court documents. Well, that may, I'm not saying something like that never happened. Right. But the only thing I can say is that as far as I know. Right. And, if someone, and I know you don't know my story. Like I told you, but if, how do you verify? And right? if someone, and if, if the brothers did that, then they were going against the Can law. you imagine they if you... They were going you, against the law, and right? they were going yes, against what Jehovah said. I agree with that. I yeah. don't think God just says to handle it that way. Right. Do you think God would have said, oh, you're so you know, trying to get me in trouble for it? Like, come so on, right? And, and so the brothers do not condone that type of uh, activity. The problem is the letter came from headquarters, in my case, in New York. It was in Brooklyn at the time. Letter from headquarters to the elders. She is to stay with him, and I got to live with my rapist some more, and get raped some more. And that came from your governing body. I, I, I can't understand that. I can't either. Thank you. Thank you. Give me, give me a handshake. Thank you for I, telling me you can't understand that. Because thank un you. I can't understand that. It doesn't make sense, right? But then, so that's why I came here to talk about it. Because it's very personal to me, obviously, right? And my sister was raped also by the same man. And so it's very personal to me because look at what I lived through, right? And the reason I come to you, I come to you out of love. I don't come to you, I don't come to you to accuse. Please believe me. Um, I hope you can sense well, my sincerity. But well, because, well, one real quick, let me finish this thought. My favorite quote throughout history is all it takes for evil to succeed is for good men to do nothing. So how can I stand by and do nothing when I know that there's thousands of kids like me that this has happened to? Right? Well, I am sorry that, that you had that bad experience. Yes, sir. I don't, I can't say hi to you because I never experienced it myself. But and I'm glad you didn't. I'm glad you know, it sucks. The only thing I, I can say, I'm sorry that you experienced it, and I personally, I don't know of anyone, and uh, I've been told that we don't condone it, we can't hide it. Are you an elder? I am. So look in your manual, and it'll show you they're hiding it. Okay. Page 72. Because... Now, in Virginia, it's not mandatory reporting. There is legislature going through right now to make it mandatory for clergy, and that would be your distinction right now. Be, you would be in the clergy class according to Virginia, in Virginia law. Now, the, the elders that didn't report it in Montana, there, there's two or three of them, when they went against the law, $1 million of that $35 million lawsuit has to come out of their pockets. So if the Senate passes mandatory reporting, because they're in session now, Virginia Senate, if they pass mandatory reporting, then you need to cover yourself because otherwise you can also be held liable. All right. Hey, how you going? Okay, so, Will. So, Jordan. Good to meet you, man. Okay. Well, I'm going to check into it. Yeah, please do okay. because my, my concern is please just protect the kids. Okay. All right. Thank you. All you right. have a good day.